Numbers from a new NBC News poll in the 2024 race and also standing by with us is former Democratic Senator from Alabama, Doug Jones, and Rick Tyler, Republican strategist and MSNBC political analyst. Great to have all of you here. I want to get right to Steve uh, with first the outlook for President Biden here. Obviously, it's really early, Steve, but he's caught some headwinds. Uh, yeah, that's it. There are some troubling numbers here if you're Joe Biden and the Democrats. Of course, the silver lining for them would be there were troubling numbers last year heading into the midterm, and they came out of that better than a lot of folks were expected. They may need to pull off something similar in 2024. Let me show you what I mean, our brand new NBC numbers. First of all, the bottom line is Biden is poised to announce this re-election bid. His job approval, just 41 percent in our new poll, say they approve of the job he's doing as president. A majority, 54 percent, say they disapprove. And the trend not favorable here either for the president. See, just at the start of the year in January, it was 45-50. So he's further underwater now than he was several months ago. Specifically, you talk about the issue of the economy. This one has been a drag on Biden's numbers basically from the get-go. And you can see less than 40% continue to approve of how he's handling the economy. We've been seeing numbers like this for Biden for a while now. Asking people the basic question, should he run? Should he run for re-election? And look at this, basically only a quarter of Americans in our poll, 26% say he should run for re-election, 70% say he should not run. That includes a substantial number of Democrats. Age, we find in our poll, could be a factor here, certainly. Biden, if re if re-elected, would be 82 years old when sworn in for a second term. Uh, now, what that adds up to is when you pit Biden in our poll against a generic Republican, you just say it's Biden or a Republican, who would you vote for in 2024? That adds up to Biden trailing on the generic ballot by six points. But of course, you never get to no party gets to field a generic candidate. There will be a name here running against Biden in 2024. And if there's a silver lining in this polling data for Biden and for the Democrats, it's this. When you start to put some names here, for instance, the front runner on the Republican side, what you find is these are the positive and negative numbers, just general impressions voters have of these candidates and their parties. Biden's not popular. 38 positive, 48 negative, but Donald Trump is a lot less popular. 34% positive and an outright majority, 53% rating him negatively. That number, that Trump unpopularity is what saved Democrats, I think, a lot to a great degree in 2022. It may be what they're counting on to save them in 2024. And other GOP contenders. Yeah, so we say it won't be a generic Republican that Trump that uh, Biden's running against here. We asked a number of Republicans here. We asked Republican voters, who do you want to be your candidate, your party's candidate in 2024? In our poll, we've got Donald Trump with the lead here. The only one of these other opponents or prospective opponents really getting traction. Ron DeSantis, 46 for Trump, 31 for DeSantis. There's a, a big divide if you go deep into these numbers and other numbers that we've seen. An education divide, Republican voters with college degrees, a little bit more supportive of DeSantis, Republican voters without college degrees, a lot more supportive of Trump. We've seen that education divide. There's also this, this is a lot of words here, but basically this is what we asked Republican voters in this poll. All the investigations, all the legal investigations involving Donald Trump right now, do you view them as a distraction? And does it mean that maybe because of this, somebody else, somebody new should be nominated who can focus only on beating Joe Biden? We asked Republicans that, or do you view the investigations as politically motivated to stop Trump and that no other candidates like Trump, so therefore we must support him to keep his opponents from winning? Are the investigations a distraction, or are they politically motivated and it's time to rally behind Trump? Those were the options we gave Republican voters, and look at that, nearly 70% said they view the investigations as politically motivated. I think that's very important to keep in mind over the next year, because the investigations are going to continue to make headlines. Lines. This is the kind of reaction it generates among Republican primary voters. And just very quickly, we showed you that number. Not a lot of folks want Biden to run. It is true for Trump as well. Only 35% of all voters want Trump running for re-election. A clear majority also don't want him running.